So, um, you have all, at some point in the recent past, decided to go to uh, to uh, Osirion, which will later turn into going to Wati, but you don't not do not know that yet. <laughs> and um, uh, let's just go in the rex, uh, in the order of um, well. The natural order of people who will step on the boat first, and that would start with Vickers, who has been plagued with strange. Well, I don't know if, should, if I should say that. It's your mm. job if you want to tell. Yes. I think that's why we're doing this, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you need to tell if you want to tell, because you can keep things secret oh. if you want to. I don't see anyone, I'm an Agorian. Yes, you are yet still, and uh... and I have packed my rucksack, and I have my family sword with me. Trust you, Claymore. And um, is it still a boat trip from Igorian? Yep, yeah. it's a boat trip from Igorian to Westcon. Yeah, a bit sleepy-headed. I make my way to the port. This is T minus 45 days. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Sounds and I, like... uh, <laughs> I yeah, have some ahead. tattooing gear I took with me so I could tattoo some sailors to pay for my trip. Ah. That do some sailors. And I just love also a questionable folded, crumpled up paper with some white powder in it in my other pocket. Which I hope will, you know, take me through the trip. Yes. And um, actually the the trip in itself, I mean, you are in, in Sheliax. It's kind of... Um, not the most lawful of lands, at least not the most good, lawful good of lands, but at least the rivers are safe. It's a very lawful land. Yeah, it's yes. just a lawful evil land. All kinds and, of uh, lawful. Merely one day later, you already arrive at West Crown, which is quite a bit more um, popula uh, populated. Thank you. All right. Work with seamen for a living. Oh God! That took what two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a record. <sighs> God damn it! Not as bad as a spooge element we encountered. And in the and on the dock, <laughs> there is actually a a very. Uh, I'm assuming that you planned out your. Uh, your trip beforehand, that you're not just going here and see where the next boat is. So I'm assuming that you know what you're oh, looking for. I'm doing a bit of planning, not too much. A bit of column A, a bit of column B. Yes. Okay. But as you step off the boat, it's the middle of summer, so you are close to the close to the equator, and it's quite hot here. Uh, oh, in yes. the burning sun, you step out of the boat. And um, it's a very heavily visited um, shipyard. And um, the, um, the trade ship that you have heard of is already being loaded. Hmm. Quite a few people are at work there. Okay. I uh, move over there, see if I can make a chat, <clears throat> see if they can take me along. For, uh... Trade for my services. As you uh, make that offer, the uh, kind of um, a dirty looking man, like typical sailor guy, at least he looks up. I'm assuming that you walked up to one of the guys that looked a bit more important. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. he does look more important. And he asks, well, what kind of services would that be? Oh, if you don't mind me uh, making a little advertisement, and I take off my top, 
and I show <laughs> that my upper body is tattooed. I can. Uh, you seem like the kind of folk that would enjoy some body art. If you would allow me, I'll like pay for the expenses. Okay, if you bring your own food. Hmm. How about I also help out on the ship a little bit? In that case, yeah, I think I can hand it. And he, and he takes his hand. He spits in it to to rub it off well, on his dirty clothes. And he goes. You can for count the on these two strong arms, and uh, I just bump him. Okay, fist bump. That's also good. Yes. Well, I'm not afraid of uh, making myself a bit dirty for some dirty work. Dirty. Yes. And uh, I'm a strong like, says that. How eager you were to take off your shirt. Yes. <laughs> you do not see anything yet. You're not here. Quiet. I know. It's very it's hot, and that is basically my advertising advertisement. Because I'm not tattooed in my face. I'm not a freak. And they are literally magical tattoos, so it's literally an advertising, like blinking and everything. <laughs> Art game mark, bitches. So many jokes. I have my rates on my back. So he says, yeah, the, like, the, with, with, the... With, with, sample, with sample sizes and how much the cost would be for <laughs> a piece of that size. Traps for four gold. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, the boat leaves tonight at dusk, and um, it'll be quite a long travel. You'll that's you'll be with us all for, almost for a month, but we stop at Saltis. That sounds like a nice trip. It's nice that I'll, I won't have to you know, look for different ships. No, it seems right up my alley. He can actually show you a a sketch of the route, which is exactly what you see before you. And um, let's skip forward in time <clears> a bit <throat> to the evening as the ship sails. Well, that ship has sailed. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> just couldn't help it. And a full Should week be sorry. later. A full week later. After some quite hard toil on the on the boat, uh, land uh, you get land inside again as you set ashore at uh, in Rahadum. Okay. Hmm. And now I'll hand it over to uh, who of you wants to go first? Ilars or Zakramel? Mine? I have ins on the left side, so... Right. Ilars! <laughs> ah, hard to argue with that kind of logic. Um... <laughs> Ilars recently went through a bit of a life-changing experience. So, he spent the last couple of months, uh, finalizing his affairs, selling his store, uh, doing a lot of training and joining the Wayward Path, which is an organization of travelers, explorers, occasional vagabonds, and uh, the like. So he is traveling to Assyrian to pick up his uh, Librum, which all members of the Wayward Path carry. Okay. So I'm looking for a ship, and I'm thinking I'll probably... Yeah. Just looking for a ship. Well, good news. Hmm. A gigantic ship has just... Uh... Mort. Excellent. <laughs> I seek out the captain and request, or rather, find out if he's traveling to Assyrian. Yeah, we are. What's it to you, pretty boy? Off to a good start. <laughs> I would <laughs> like to um, arrange for uh, a possibility to travel alongside you, your ship to Assyrian. Think you can handle? Some of the work on a ship like this? Uh, probably not. I, I'll, I could give it a shot, but um, I assume that you have some kind of arrangements for paying travelers. Of course. Or that you and um, be able to the, the look in his face immediately changes as uh, 
as money enters the conversation. <laughs> of course, of course. We can make arrangements for that. That will be no problem at all, sir. Excellent. I look forward to traveling with you. We can uh, arrange the details later. That's good. Well, we're going to to, to have to... Uh, uh, I forget the words for it. Uh, sale? Laden and lossen. Uh, at sale, basically. <laughs> oh, right. No, it's, it's, mm -hmm. they're going to uh, get some of the goods that are on the boat, off the boat, and new goods on the boat. You know, it's a trading ship. Right. Resupply. Take it in. Resupply, thank you. I, uh, and when do you expect to set sail? Tomorrow at dusk. Very well. I shall be here tomorrow mm. with my uh, luggage. At I which think, point, uh... a small guy appears at the scene. Sacramento. Oh. No, that's not. I'm, I'm gonna be there tomorrow at dusk, because I'm gonna be the guy running towards the boat as they pack up to leave. <laughs> okay, that's good. Good. Bumps are yeah, slow. I'll be Just there. Have... I'm so busy with my own things, so I totally forgot about it. I'm running there, trying to make it in time. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait! Hold the Vic is, is a man who really needs his ale, and uh, he really took the occasion uh, in hands, and he went to shore as well. To spend at least this night in a nice and cozy inn and get some nice ale. And some Something not too far from the harbor. Well, it's a harbor. Good news, <laughs> there are always inns near a harbor. Yeah. If I don't see anything of interest there, I'll just go to bed after I drink. <clears throat> it depends. Does. I'm going to ask Gilas. Do you uh, do you go there? I can go for a drink. It's a fairly momentous event happening. Makes sense to get a little bit of a beverage before we take off. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, there's no particular reason why you you two guys should start conversing, but maybe he saw. Oh, uh, I still Gilles. have my shirt off and. Uh... <laughs> the uh, advertisements are still on there. They're scrolling okay. by. You know. <laughs> it's like a like a banner. Oh, okay, okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna we'll approach Vickis, yes. and I'm gonna explain that I'm about to start some uh, truly uh, life-changing events and really turn my life around. And I feel like I should get a really unique tattoo. So I'm thinking about like a dolphin on my ankle. That is an excellent <laughs> idea, young lad. <laughs> but might I add to that proposal that we might. You know, change it, change it up a bit. Uh, maybe you need something more like, like two anchors tied to each other. You know, across your arm, like a real man. Look at this. Does this look like a dolphin, my lad? No, it doesn't. It's bloody glorious. That's what it is. Now hand me your arm, son, and I'll make a man out of you. Oh, they're holding hands. This is. <laughs> There's some really scary double meaning going on right here. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I'm actually going to think this over, because, you know, never get a tattoo while you've been drinking. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> tell you what, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll revisit the issue down line, shall we? Oh, yeah. oh by the way, I'm uh, leaving tomorrow. I'm uh, heading towards Osirian on, uh, on our boat. It's passing by. That is a oh. fortuitous event. I am leaving on the same ship. Oh, you mean the Horny Mary? <laughs> God, I hope not. I did not even bother to ask what the ship was called. <laughs> it is now officially called the Horny Mary. <laughs> That's not the best, you know, omen for my travels. But okay. Semen. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it classy, guys. <laughs> I, that, ship, that ship has long since left shore. <laughs> no, it's still here. No, I'm at the classy ship. <laughs> there has never been a, a classy ship in shore to start with. Oh. Clearly, we are not the right for. I'm uh, going to leave it to to you to when you want to move on time. It's yep. all up to you. Why are you traveling to Assyrian, my good sir? Oh, actually, might as well just do introductions. Vegas, was it? Yes. Vegas. Vegas. Okay, please. Vic, yes, yes, 
Vickers. Uh, can you change your uh, name at the bottom to your character name? Oh, I yeah, I am refreshed. Big. Oh, you already did? Well, I'm not too bothered by it, my friend. Good news, Big. That is most good news. Yes. Anyway, I was traveling to Assyrian because of some... Yeah... Personal troubles I'm having. See, uh, I keep getting these nightmares and... They're really preventing all kind of... Uh, any kind of sleep from occurring. And there's visions constantly of ancient Osirian, I think, or just a desert that's burning. And oh yes, uh, I forgot just... to mention you, uh, it, this to you yet, uh, Peter. Well, because yes. um, <laughs> you do not actually know yet that you can spontaneously read Osirian. It'll be fun when you find out. That should be interesting. Yeah, but, I know. Yeah, you just mentioned that you did know, so I, that's why I was correcting no. you. Yes, you did. I you thought said... I was seeing visions of ancient Osiria. I thought that you said ancient Osiriani. Never mind. No. Anyway. Uh, Osirian. Have anyway. you ever been to Osirian before? No, that's why I'm going. I, it feels like these dreams, these dastardly dreams are... Following me towards the land. Well, I tried to hold out at home as long as I could, but I just couldn't stand it any longer. I had to see it for myself. Oh. See, that is a worthy cause. Yeah. One should never stop exploring. Or hmm. experiencing new things. Yeah. Well, let's hope it brings good fortune. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that, yes. <laughs> and that was drunk too. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly! <laughs> no, this is gonna end with all three of us running to catch the ship. So how about that tattoo, me lad? <laughs> yeah, how about that? <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> let's, uh, like I said, let's uh, revisit that when I'm not. We'll save. <laughs> I actually get better at tattooing when I'm drunk, so I'm an excellent <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think I've seen your previous work actually, while drunk. <laughs> actually, it's called state dependent performance. You always do the same thing in the same condition. And eventually, that's the only condition you can perform at your best at, so I always need an ale or two before I can really bring out the masterpieces. So I see. Yes. So I see. I'll take some mead for the way. Little keg. <clears throat> Might as well get one apiece. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. So, um, you eventually go to sleep, both of you, with a keg under your pillow. Well, behind your pillow. Yes. I don't think it'll fit under. Yep. Excellent. The next day breaks. Uh, Zakramiel, feel free to interrupt when something oh, happens. I'm, I'm plan is to show up uh, just before the boat's leaving. Right. Well, so unless they want to do something. Yeah. Yellows and Vickers, any plans? Oh, Wake up, have breakfast, go to the boat. I think so, Vickers all... is a brawny sort. Even more so than myself, I am gonna enlist his aid in helping me get my uh, uh, belongings onto the ship. Very you much lucky much devil, so. you. Oh, sorry? I'm gonna ask if you can help me move some stuff onto the ship. I'm, oh sure. I'm bringing a bit of a bit of gear. I have no trouble lifting some heavy stuff, my friend. Excellent. It's good for yeah. the body. It's good for the mind. He lifts. <laughs> he works yes. out. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I have three sh ship's chests worth of uh, different items. Oh god! Yeah, I forgot. I I looked at your character sheet. He actually does. <laughs> what does he? Yes. What? Like, uh, three of those, uh, you know, those those big foot lockers, like in the Harry Potter movies. 
Oh god, really? Yes, three three of, of those. Hmm. <laughs> Filled with <laughs> random shit. Do I need to I'll make a strength check or something? <laughs> no, well, you it's can. About it's about 150 pounds worth of gear, so it's probably Ooh, not that's an issue That's perfectly for you. doable. Yep. So, what are you all bringing? Isn't this all a bit excessive, my friend? Oh, uh, you know, the bare essentials. You know, trail rations, torches, wall flyer. Uh, rope, mirror, letter mirror, grappling hook, crowbar, compass, coffee pot. Mm. Uh, oh, speaking of which, would you like an alchemist's kindness? Are you feeling a bit underwater? I don't know what it is, but I think I do. <laughs> I'll cross off two of them. Uh, it's an alchemical item that cures hangovers. Nice. And just like that, I made a friend for life. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that's... Oh, you're a bro now, officially. <laughs> yes. we, that this means we have to stick to the bro code. There no. I have written this... I have written this document. It's called the bro code. It's you see? It's approximately 170 pages long. Yes. <laughs> Is it written on your back? Never have sex <laughs> with the bro's ex. That's rule number one. You would remember you are in Rahadum. Make sure you cannot. <laughs> make sure it doesn't count as a religious treatise. <laughs> Do the bro. Another bro shall immediately point out that he is a tool. Article 74. <laughs> you just went. Boom! Bing! Oh. Yeah, your headset disconnected or something. <clears throat> it is indeed. So, nicely on time, the boat of you make it onto the, onto the boat. As uh, as nighttime is approaching, they start um, uh, putting up the sails, and just as they start weighing the anchor, you see a tiny gnome running, running as hard as he can. Down Mind you, that's not very fast, but it's tiny little legs. It, Pumping eagerly. It looks just... like it's slow motion. It's about you'd estimate maybe fifteen feet. Like a penguin waddle. <laughs> maybe a penguin walk, but it uh, is now. You also notice that he has a pile of books in his hands. Running down the pier. Trying to wait for the boat really awkwardly and shouting. Uh Wee! Wee! Hey, it looks like there's someone who still wants to get on. Can you slow it down a bit? That little guy? The captain who is also standing on deck? I don't know what he wants. <sighs> so we take him. Wait up a minute, guys. <clears throat> okay. I'm just running there, so if I can get on the boat, that would be awesome. He's running. I have a grappling hook. Thing is, there isn't a, really a, a, a draw plank. Anymore, anymore since we are moving. I have to jump. So, I can toss you a rope if you want to. I have yeah, a grappling hook. You should also help Just... me with the books, thanks. I heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll start throwing the books then from the pier onto the boat. Duck! Like... <laughs> and you, you are standing down on the tanks out of the way. <laughs> Slow, slowly, um, the, the boat is slowly starting to move as this little guy <laughs> runs to you at, at top speed, which is not that fast, and he starts throwing uh, the books onto the deck. <laughs> the captain is like, what? <laughs> uh, I think that guy wants to join us. Maybe stop it. S slow it down a bit. More. <laughs> and they, they slow, do slow down a bit more. <laughs> Alright, well, after I've thrown maybe 12 books on top of the boat, hold on up to the boat. Carl will attempt my jump. I might leap. Go ahead. Do I have to roll acrobatics? Because I might fall in the water. Don't I'll worry, try and get you won't you. die. <laughs> I have ranks in swim. <laughs> Don't be fearful. You're playing the character in Tommy's Mask and you have ranks in swim. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, am I rolling? Yeah, you're rolling. Alright. I'm going to wrestle and punch a shark if I have to. Alright, let's go, Roku. Running start. 
for your chance of going in. So what do I roll? <laughs> he barely hangs on to the edge. Do you pull him up or do you let him fall? I take I... his arm and I try to just uh, toss him on board. But you my do that easily. Strength. <laughs> well, doesn't matter. I toss you onto your pile of books. Ah, uh, you're too kind. Uh, made it just in time, my friend. Ah, uh, you noticed that since I'm not looking at you as you say that, I'm just looking for my books. I don't really seem to remember what you're saying. Hmm. I'll leave this guy to it. I'm just, I'm just gathering all my books up in a new pile. And, and uh, then the a, captain stands, uh, moves next to you and he's like... I, I turn uh, around to thank my hero hello? as well though. Ah, oh, Captain, great to see you! Uh, see I just made it in time, thankfully. Um, I would love to maybe join you on your travels. To Sothis. Uh -huh. Is that? No, it's Sothis, right? Yep. Yes, we're going to sort this. The, 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 uh, I would like to point out that this is a bit late to ask that, but okay. <coughs> what what it's kind of good it, I mean. What kind of work do you think you can do? I mean, oh, I can do all manner of work. I can read. I can write. I can craft the finest weapons. Can you swim? Can you oh, die not? Did, did, I, did I did I did I hear? Can't swim. <laughs> the question is that. Did I hear uh, make weapons? Uh, mighty fine weapons indeed. That's uh, partially why I'm going for this journey. How fine are we talking? Um, that depends what your definition of fine is. But if it's anywhere close to what mine is, then I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Well, how about this? You supply us with the armory, and I don't throw you off. Oh. That sounds. I. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't we think have I'm a deal. Negotiate that plan right now. That's fine. I think that by Maybe now. We reach the next, next dock. I'll <laughs> negotiate, but. So like, during this negotiation, you're already like 100 meters in the ocean, so you don't really have yeah. the option of going back anymore, <laughs> without swimming at least. <laughs> yeah, slavery seems fine to me. Yeah, that seems like, delightful. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is mighty fine crafting on the way. But yeah, I also thank my hero for saving me as I kind of nearly fell overboard. It is a further 20 whole days. Actually, uh, it's a 24 days from here on to Sotis. So, any highlights you would want to discuss? Or do you just want to arrive? Well, I sit on a keg, and uh, I have <laughs> the know, entire time. I, no, I, I sit on. A, I have these these boxes and crates stacked, and I have made my little tattoo workshop where I can, you know. I plan. I plan to do a lot of reading on my own. But I also do plan to do a lot of crafting. And I think maybe a lost one or something crafted. Did I you... might put in an order. Yes. Okay. Uh, of an, basically a spear. Elven branch bear. Like Sonic. Come again? Yeah, that's exactly. Sonic. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some rolling. Oh, you can't take 10 on that? No. Yes, you can. Uh, oh, it's 18 on like Sonic. He literally isn't good enough to actually take 10 on it. Oh. No, I need 11. <laughs> <laughs> on second thought. <laughs> <laughs> What? Can you make can you make a stick with a pointy end? Oh, I don't know if I can do that. An exotic stick. <laughs> that with sounds a pointy complicated. End. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is it meant to be pointy on both ends? <laughs> I don't understand this this weapon device you speak of. 
How does it work? Oh, I understand it perfectly well. I just can't make it on my own. Yeah. Really, really crafty. I'm, I'm, I'm going under the assumption that you somehow achieve the creation of this weapon somehow during the trip. Because otherwise, this character doesn't work. Easy peasy. Don't worry about it, guys. I've done this a million times before. Yeah, during uh, during the night time, you may or may not see uh, Vegas pull out this crumpled pouch of paper he has and uh, apply some of that powder to his nose. <clears throat> what? Uh, yes, right before he goes to bed, and then he sleeps like a brick. Uh, sec. Yeah. Bad news. You might what? need to make a second check. He didn't actually finish it. Oh dear. <laughs> the easy peasy. The last check is the easiest. Don't worry yeah, about wait. it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the pony was be meant to be at the end of the. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, as I said, yeah, I was going right. to assume anyway that you su succeeded somehow. Like okay, because he he had to get uh, forty gold worth of work done, and he got thirty nine point six. Old. Got really? it in the first week. Yeah. And then apparently you just dismantled the whole thing because you want to redo it. <laughs> this pommel is all wrong! Oh, wait, does that mean I could have just taken take 10 on the next one? Or was that? No, uh, you still need to meet the. Don't worry about it. We'll just right, okay, assume yeah. you figured it out. Yeah, you, you figure out where the pointy end goes. <laughs> and you Genius also figure you. out how to, to make some other sticks with pointy ends for the. For the captain like and his the man. Yep. As long as you know where to stick them. Well, there's actually a fumble card. <laughs> the pointy end goes where? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, a lot of time passes. Like, almost a month of time passes. And you. By this time, you have noticed few things about me. One, I really like mummies. Two, I'm really interested in tombs. Three, I spend most of my time reading on my own. And four, I'm deaf. I like how we noticed a lot the, the death <laughs> from last. Yeah. Well, I'm just assuming you all got low intellect, so. That's a bird. I know how to read lips, so don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, how smart are you? I will challenge you to a round of smart off. Take 10 plus intelligence by far. <laughs> yup. I'm always smart, so let's do it. Alright. I will. What are you doing, actually? There's no way I can lose Basically, against that. Riddle games. Oh, man. I tried to see him figure out if <laughs> I can. <laughs> <clears throat> See if I can figure out the riddle, maybe? No, I can't. Oh, you, you, yes, you do, because that was supposed to be a take 10. So, uh, Zakramiel and, uh, and Elas both uh, tied on the smart off. But you managed to win, Vickers. The last mm. person we would suspect that from. <laughs> Brainiac tattoo. Well, I wasn't so looking at him anyway, so I couldn't hear him. Sucks to be you. I'm, uh... <laughs> Greatest burn that no one heard. <laughs> I can think on my feet. I'm pretty smart. Yeah, but you know, it's like I can only talk to one person at a time. Yeah. <clears throat> so, after uh, a long, long, exhausting journey where you go past Mirab and Aspentar. In the crotch of uh, Rovagug, aka Tuvia. To Diobel and the big city of Absalom. To Totra, and finally, you end up in Sotis. Oh, are we here already? Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's about time. Yeah, time passes really quickly for me when I'm immersed in my books. Yeah. Now, tombs! Oh, by the way, my friends, we still didn't finish your tattoo. 
dirted. That's a shame. Yeah. It's got a time consuming process, but we'll have to revisit that issue somewhere down the, down the yeah, road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't sweat it, my friend. Think on it. You don't want to regret it. Or I can put it in as a arcane mark tattoo, that way it, it fades in one month. <clears throat> Kids it's like, like Anna, those. but less cancer. Yes. <laughs> Where are you guys going now? Oh, I don't know. I need to visit the library of the Wayward Path, but... Library? Yeah. It's a like huge extra-dimensional library containing all the information ever gathered from any member of the Wayward Path. And I come. Members only. God damn it. <laughs> uh, that library, uh, for this campaign's sake, is not extra dimensional. Uh, it is in Tefu. That's fine. It's in Tefu, okay. So, you are now T minus 14 days. And, well, you arrive here in Sotis, and you, you all went here for the goal of. Well, tombs. You're an Assyrian. Tombs are plenty. Mm. But are you prepared? Well, I really want to see this library right now. Maybe I can sneak in. It's a bit far mm. to walk. Maybe I can find some more information on what I'm seeing in my dreams there. Well, Clearly, I actually certainly... don't have much things concerning the uh, Assyriani. I could certainly put in a request to get more information about it. But I have to get there first, get my, uh, up my You know what? Out. I'm kind of a wanderer at this point anyway. I'll uh, escort you to it there, if you don't mind me tagging along. Not at all, I'd be happy to have the company. Alright, let's get a move on. Some time also passes in Sotis as you kind of, you know, Get. Look for ways to travel down the Sphinx. Yeah, and of course, uh, you did just spend a month on, no more than a month on water. I mean, that's not really that uh, healthy. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I put some of my books in your chests. Better I'm just true. gonna do it, don't worry about it. You're full. But you make it to a Syrian. <laughs> They're all full. <laughs> And um, during the, the 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 rest time you take there, uh, Vickers, you come across uh, a bulletin board which has the latest Osiriani news on it. Hmm. And um, one of the things has. Um, it, l it looks uh, kind of like a royal decree. And it holds that the... Um, uh, the, um, the tombs of Wati... The, the necropolis of Wati... Will be opened by royal decree... In ten calendar days. What is more wait, amazing... Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's a tomb in Wati that... Oh, there's a necropolis in Wati. There's a necropolis in Wati that hasn't been opened yet that we can explore in 10 days? It has never been opened yet. Well, not officially. I think but, maybe this library can wait a bit. Maybe we should all go to Wati and have a look at this necropolis? There's something strange though, Vickers. You can read that note. Kind of. Hmm. That's not strange at all. I can read it. <laughs> yeah, I can read it as well. What's strange? Well, it was written in Shalaxian, though, since we're in the middle of Syria. Wait, which one are your, are your uh, normal languages again? Mine. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. I have Chiliaxian, well, Osir normal Osiriani, which I studied from a little uh, tourist book. 
on the ah, way here. Okay. So that one is kind of lacking. And then I have the one from the trade. And uh, I think Infernal, that's all. Okay, never mind then. So yeah, you can read. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I, I didn't know that you had normal Osiriani. Oh, yeah, but it's really, the... really, really lacking. It's... Okay, then it's strange that you can read this as well as you can. Apparently that little language guide has helped more than you thought. Yeah, they Apparently make these things it? for dummies now nowadays. And you <laughs> see, it's like black and, and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> These series of books are really good, you know? Left. <laughs> yes, I've seen Sarkis carries quite a few of them. Hmm. Quite a few. In fact, almost all of them are like that. At this point, might you 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 might want to consider uh what about the arcane aspect that you may or may not need while exploring dungeons and tombs and crypts well for now my first priority is still to get to uh tefu okay this is the library but that is conveniently close to wadi so yeah that sounds like an excellent opportunity for every traveler to take, even if you're not that interested in it. We can visit the library on the way, and then travel to Wadi afterwards, find out what this tube is all about. Yeah. Third Wayward Path would appreciate a first-hand description of the events. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to shift perspectives to a lie. <laughs> You don't know any any of this that just happened yet. You don't know any yeah, of it. I know. I know. Uh, well, being born and raised in the village of Eto, um, we lived peacefully, but one thing was nagging on our mind. The miraculous story about her resurrection. It was well known about the village, but they always thought it was a miracle. A fate by the deities, as a... Well, gift to her mother, but well, she wasn't really sure, and she was wondering why and why, why to her, not third someone person? else. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an introduction. Sorry, I did. I prepared this all in the beginning. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, Probably. don't need to comment it's on. It's a little bit early to get that frustrated. It's it's it's. Well, it's okay. Come on. Go ahead. It, well, it was kind of strange. It was a miracle. Was it a miracle? Was it not? It was the books in her village was really not clarifying. So she set out to the place that would be her best bet, the Great Church of Rosma, which, as luck might have it, there is one in a village called Wati. Not that far so, from Ito. Mm -hmm. So um, she also knows that. Our village is very well uh, known for our village, uh, the trading. So she goes to one of the owners of one of the uh, trading routes and asks if she can take a lift to uh, Tefu. And well, and you, you are a local, so it's not really a, um, a great difficulty to get such a lift. Not like you have to bargain for it. Just oh. done deal, as you ask. I still need to ask. Yes, you do. And uh, the man leading the the caravan is completely fine with it. Great. When do you leave? Uh, in about forty-five minutes. Ooh, that's a bit uh, early. Can you maybe wait like an hour? I still have to prepare a bit. Uh, fine, but no longer. We, uh, we need to make an appointment for uh, uh, for Tifu, and th these goods are not going to keep themselves fresh. Look at the sun. It's hot here. <laughs> yeah, she nods very, and then she nods, and then she really <laughs> rushes off to her home to get her stuff. You do that. Mm 
time passes, you get your stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, the caravan approaches through uh, the, the caravan leaves through day and night and day and night and day and night and day and night for an entire week until you arrive in Tifu, which happens to be the um, where you would need to take the, 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 the ferry over. Okay. And this is where you guys converge. Uh, can you describe your character? I mean, most oh, of the other ones I can kind of get the impression of from their image, but... It's on the, on the world map. Um, yeah, but... Description of my character, well... Dressed natively to a Syriani, uh, or Syrian, I mean. Uh, things that, that stand out though is that her hair, her hair looks on fire. That's oh my out. god, that woman's hair is on fire. <laughs> yeah, well. And Your hair's also... on fire, girl! <laughs> Drop to the ground! I'll put it out! <laughs> I turn around and look at the, at the guys, like, what the hell are they talking about? Nothing's wrong with my hair? Weirdos! <laughs> and start continuing towards <laughs> the fairy. Oh my god, it's a teenager. <laughs> no! I just... <laughs> Oh, you're a bunch of freaks. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's thinking. Like, what the hell are these guys thinking? <laughs> Never seen an Amberkin before? Never seen an Amberkin before? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, make it worse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, um... It's still like a Starbucks. Uh, uh, like, I'm a, I need to re re rewind, like, a day when uh, oh. the others arrived here in Tefu. Uh, because I'm assuming that in the meantime, you went to get your book. I didn't need. You did? Good. I, yes. I did? He did. I get in? What? I want to get in, no matter what he says. You're not getting in? Oh, I'm, I'm trying. This Halt! Put me in That's... your box and carry me inside. <laughs> No. Hmm. Holy shit. Can I, can I, I just had a fla flashback of an amazing book. <clears throat> Never mind then. Can I look in the window? <laughs> you see piles upon piles of books. It's like books as far as the eye can see. The, the windows start to fog. <laughs> they do Give indeed. Your heavy breathing. <laughs> <laughs> in the desert. Which is impressive, let's just say. Yeah. <laughs> Take me with you! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Wait, sorry. <laughs> and... I just read, Non-members are permitted access to the Grand Library for a modest two gold piece <gasps> per day. Which helps the small amounts of overhead still necessary after the layers of enchantments are done with their duty. Oh, I'll uh, have a look inside as well then. Yeah, maybe I can find something. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> can I borrow any books? No. Can I? Oh. <laughs> can I, you know, forget to leave books here? <laughs> that will end very badly. You see, the the library has these magical protections on them. You yeah. might spontaneously combust as you walk out with a book. And then, unlike a lie, that's not good if you're on fire. That's why you're <laughs> on fire. <laughs> liar, liar, liar. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to search for uh, books about tombs in Vati. That's kind of a very... Uh, I, you, you, yeah, you, you, you ask for it, and um, they lead you to an entire hall. Like I uh, shall read the entire hall. <laughs> there's no time for that. Then I will start on book one. You do that. I will try and find a book concerning deserts that are on fire. Some creature crawling out of a pit. 
and creatures I see flying around in the sky. Uh, that's the uh, vague shapes. Vague shapes, yes. Let's not assume creatures yet. Okay. Uh, well, Zakramiel, uh, you open the first book and find that you cannot read it. Damn it. Well, I guess I have to learn myself a new language then. Yes, I guess so as well. <laughs> Take three guesses which one. <laughs> I can lend you the... I don't know. Assyrian for dummies book, you know. But I've been, no, I've been learning Assyrian on the way there. Uh, yeah, yeah, but these are ancient books. Yeah, so I'm screwed there. Alright, well, can I get some help to find something I can actually read? And then back there when I learn. Well, the there library... are also a lot of contemporary book like, uh, books like fif 55 Things You Won't Believe About This Mummy. <laughs> I'm getting that one. Let's do it. <laughs> Get in me in a private... And, and next now. to it is, uh, by, the same order, uh, by the same order, Six Weird Tricks to Open a Tomb. Oh Christ, I need that one as well. Let's go. <laughs> That one actually sounds kind of useful. <laughs> How did you lose weight in seven days? I, I, I just imagine Arch myself. Lich. I just imagine <laughs> myself starting on one book, reading it, and then walking past another one, realizing I really want to read that as well, and just dropping the first one, starting on the second one. I think just perhaps sure I don't gradually actually... disappearing underneath a larger and larger pile of books. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really imagine my character to be one that sits down <clears throat> towards the wall. You just down I'm wherever or at least down on the floor, starts reading. So just you put them there's... back in the right place. Uh, eventually. I'm done okay. reading. You you will want to because at some point later in the campaign you will be returning here. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's not a priority for me to put them back in place. I'm basically just standing them. there shaking my head, going, "My God." <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna haunt me. Oh, this is gonna haunt me for a long time. Time flies at you as you sit there, and uh, how hard do you want time to fly? Oh, would would really you just... would you like to literally miss the night? Sure. How much time do we have before the tombs are opened? Because we want to be there a day or two ahead of time so we can prepare for that. Three days. So uh, I would say tomorrow you would realize, oh shit, we still need to realize, uh, re uh, re register, come guys. Okay. I I'm but... thinking that we, we first try to leave the same day we got there and then we eventually just kind of give up on bringing the gnome and decide to spend the night. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. It sounds fairly possible. <laughs> I like it. So I sleep, and uh, I, I have run out of the white powder. To my great surprise, uh, the nightmares have led up this night, it seems. I wake yeah, really, really fresh and well-minded. So, happy. Oh, to hear it. I've been a little bit concerned about your growing cocaine addiction. <laughs> oh, you mean um, this? This is not cocaine, my friend. This is just a, you know, a sleeping agent to help me sleep. It just knocks me out cold. I'll, I'll roll around hey, in my um, bed like a brick. I see. <laughs> Bricks don't roll around. Well, in a ship they do. True. On a poorly <laughs> managed ship they do. Yes. So, the, the, it is the next day. And um, you eventually manage to get Sakramiel to leave his books alone. I'm imagining kicking and screaming. I, I'm picturing us literally carrying him out while he cries the entire way to Wadi. That's just me. <laughs> no, I think what I imagine is that tell me that we have to leave now or else we're going to miss the opening of the necropolis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think no, about the mummies. The so that might be even more interesting. The library will showing. still be there. I'll be know? showing. I'll be back. I'll and be um, <laughs> as you as you move to leave, uh, the librarian looks at you and he says, "That book, please." 
And the Let other me one. Handle oh, this. I guess Hello there. there. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Oops. Do you want to get a tattoo of a dolphin, maybe? <laughs> you are talking to like a a a 92 year old lady. Do you want a tattoo of a dolphin, baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank that you. That was the smoothest recovery I have heard in my entire <laughs> life. That's actually genuinely impressive. <laughs> okay. I also like how you're suggesting a dolphin to an embrican. <laughs> no, you're what? not talking to a lie. Oh man, okay, that would have been even better. So, now we are back to where uh, you saw a lie and said that girl's hair is on fire. So, we're back at that point now. Mm. Okay. Not far from the ferry, which is not long from now, is going to set sail. Well, set sail is. <laughs> well, it's like half an hour. Mother of all potatoes, that girl's hair is on fire! <laughs> Put her out! <sighs> if you've never seen an American, here it goes again. <laughs> Probably accurate. I, I, I think I, I have a fire extinguisher somewhere. Now I'm imagining uh, something like uh, you, you, you um, uh, put sand on it. No, uh, I'm imagining that uh, that the light is is like inviting you to touch the hair so that you can see that it's not actually a hot fire. That's freaking hot. No, it's not. It'd be funny if it actually was hot. It's not okay. hot. It's like flames. No, it's okay. like... It looks like flames. It's not actually flames. That would be very inconvenient. Oh, inconvenient, indeed. <laughs> not because you, you have pieces of hair of floating around here. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, just ignore that, then. Just ignore... Just only the... Well, it is... You're it shedding is your fire. hair, it's... girl! It, it is fire. It's it's it, 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 it licks around like fire. It 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 looks exactly like fire. It moves like fire. It gives light like fire, slightly. But it's it's not hot like fire. Okay. okay. See, it's not fire. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Could I interest you in a tattoo to make up for? No, it? and I turn around and immediately move away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even uh, have Ali, the chance to turn around to see my raids. Alai, <laughs> these, yeah. um, these, uh, this trio of doofuses yes. uh, do not look local. <laughs> I know. At all. It's it, that 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 she she does the well. That's the first thing you notice when you see them. It's like yeah. It's, Oh, they're, they're like as really inconspicuous really... as um, as a as an American uh, tourist with a Hawaiian T-shirt in a uh, in rural <laughs> oh, France. Good God, no! <laughs> That's it's as sandals. <laughs> it sucks in them. Well, um, <laughs> yes. I'm going to gracefully run around the, and circle well, well, and was... shout that we have to run to be there in time. What I was thinking, uh, kind of, was when while we're on the ferry towards uh, Wati, I would. Engage them in, in general chatter about why they are here. Okay, let's go. Time passes and you are on the on the um, the ferry, which has now set sail. Go. I'm, I'm guessing there are actually other again. adventuring parties traveling down as well. Cause... Yeah, that's a uh, the the city of Tefu was actually remarkably busy. Well, not really that remarkable. It, it does have one of the largest libraries in the world. But um, right. uh, a lot of people types. that look, yeah, that that look non-local and very adventurous. Like you, you don't usually see um, a, a a group of uh, of four halflings with half a dozen dogs following them. That's not something you <laughs> usually see. But in what do you um, do? I'm kind of picturing this as like a giant game of musical I chairs with all the adventurers trying to group up. 
Yeah. Or, or like, they already have groups. looking around to see if you can find a better group or. It's like a big stock exchange, but for yeah. murder hobos. <laughs> <laughs> I buy that one. <laughs> Okay, let's mm. let's do the conversations on on the way. Yep. Yeah. So we're on a ferry. Yeah. Really like to roam around and look at their exciting. Okay, a lot um... of adventurers are around you, and well, Ali looks not with a group. I'm increasingly getting for... a little concerned that we don't have any kind of spellcaster. Okay, well, no. Aiden, hold on. If you're looking for me, you'll find me reading my spellbook. If you're not, I'll find you. And, and do some magical tricks on you to this to because you were thinking about my hair. Well, I'll, 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 do an, I'll go and seek you out and apologize to you for the sudden been on her fight. Uh, sudden inconvenience I'm to put you out, basically. of putting well, you some out. Outburst. <laughs> hey there, girl. Uh, so I'm sorry I tried to um, put you out back there. Do you, you know? If you ever change your mind on the tattoo subject, I can provide a masterpiece for you for free. So, I hope you accept my apologies. Hearing you all that nonsense, she closes her spell book, looks at you. Okay, I'll accept your apologies, but no, don't ever ask me about the tattoo, or I'll burn you. Okay, well, fair <laughs> enough. I'll drink to that. And I get, I get my gag from my rucksack. <laughs> and... <laughs> As I speak as I can, I try to put a little grease under his feet. <laughs> <laughs> While he's drinking. That's the kind of team player. You see him a couple room. of words and and and, and emotion and, and suddenly grease underneath his feet. <laughs> so I need to wow. make a reflex save. Yes. Oh, she's already it's the you are you. Dumb. I you know, I'm an arcane caster, I see what kind of shit she's pulling, that thing is on my spell You're... list, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm just trying to mess with you, you know, a little bit of revenge for that little- Wait, let me make a spellcraft that... check to see if I can see what's going on. It's all fun and games till someone lights the grease on fire. <laughs> hey, 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 what do you think you're doing there? Oh Nothing? shit, my what? reflex safe, not my reflex safe. It's my Achilles heel. <laughs> well, you know the spell and it's Yes! Like... Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Arcane no. power. I can no increase way. it. No. <laughs> Not retroactively. Yes. Not after seeing my roll. No, that's true. No, no, no. You have to declare it when you're casting the spell. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. It's, I'm just, I'm just messing. What was the DC? Uh, oh, wait. Let me look her up because I don't ever open. <laughs> that's such a way, way play to put that. Hmm. Indeed. Whatever. Uh, what is the DC actually for that? Intelligence modifier plus one for the spell level plus any other modifiers. Uh, if uh, every spell with a DC, if you just go to your in play tab, it will show the DC next to your spells. Yeah, Greece. It does not. Hmm. Hey, that's I'm sorry, lass, but you seem to have mistaken me for some kind of commoner. <laughs> Be assured, I can cast as well, and I take off my shirt and I show her the advertisements that are scrolling by and I cast some prestidigitation bullshit like how's that wise ass <laughs> you have like a, a dozen people in a circle around you who are, uh, who are kind of <sighs> looking at what's going on well, I'm just really I'm just really really disappointed that that didn't work that would have been the I'm greatest sorry, joke see... ever it <laughs> doesn't matter. It's not gonna be 19. <laughs> it's not gonna be 19. There's no way in hell it's gonna be 19. Nah, it's gonna be like 12 or something. Oh, what's your intelligence modifier? 5. Let's... Okay, so let's... it's probably 16 or 17. Let's not oh, yeah. dwell on this. Yeah, 16. There you go. So... <laughs> With those introductions out of the greens. way... Uh, Elas, I remembered you saying something about you need an arcane caster. Well, I'm well, a little bit concerned that everyone else seems to be having one. Apparently, they're all the rage nowadays. Yes, they are. I mean, <laughs> even the most ill advised group in the bunch still has an arcane caster, and that's a group with three rogues and a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Boy, that wizard's gonna have a hard time. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe we can convince some people to join our party. You know, Les, why are you well, traveling to Wadi anyways? Visiting a sick old grandmother? What? Why are you traveling to Wadi anyways? S uh, visiting a sick old grandmother? No, no, no. I'm kind of on a personal quest. I I'm going to the Church of Frostman. I need to read some things. Maybe they can help me out. Oh, at this point I should point out that by... Just by sheer luck, she has not heard, uh, Ally has not heard of uh, the lottery bound to happen in Wati. I see. Oh, so. you see, there's this, um, there's this, like, uh, I guess you could call it a convention of sorts, of, um, of pe explorers, and uh, it looks like they're planning to open the City of the Dead to... Uh, enthusiastic archaeologists and uh, the like. And as no, it no, happens, no, no, we no. were planning on. No, 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 Because I'm gonna go over there. This is obviously the greatest prankster ever. Okay, the, the, the spell failed. That's all right, but it's so amazing that you just did that. I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to invite you to come with us because you're amazing. Wasn't as long as you one... promise to keep pulling those medical jokes with me. Wasn't Ella's going to do that? Yeah. I was heading in that direction, but apparently you were I got just interrupting Ella's with his wonderful speech about him telling me about the lottery because I know nothing about it. Seriously, I just by luck met you guys. You don't have to know about. It. I'm just saying, come with us. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not telling you anything else. Sorry, but I'm not gonna listen to a little crazy like gnome coming to me and saying to come with me. My mom taught me better than that, you know. <laughs> Stranger Very danger! Wise <laughs> I can't Honestly, it's just then I, 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 They're all then so weird. I shift my attention back to Aelos and like, what were you saying? Like I was saying, um, we're uh, starting a group of like-minded individuals who are interested in exploring the city of the dead for the greater enrichment of, well, us and the Syrian by extension. And as it happens, we we have room for for member. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't want to impede on your time, but if you don't have anything planned apart from the visit to the cathedral, maybe you could hang out with us, with us for a bit and see how it goes. Mm. You might want to mention that it's uh, organized by the Church of Farazma. Well, uh, I think I did say that. No, you didn't. No, you, know? you didn't. Okay, my bad. And yes, no. it's all. Officially sanctioned, and we're <clears throat> utterly welcome, and no one is going to call us grave robbers or anything like that. That, that should probably go with a bluff check. No, it's actually <laughs> officially san it's sanctioned. It's true! <laughs> yeah, but we're still going to be called that. Anyways, think it over, but don't have to make a decision right now, and uh, if you still want to check, it, uh, follow it up later on, you can find us after you go to the cathedral. Well, I'm just going to welcome you to the group, because you obviously need to join. <laughs> I think maybe if I run a few circles around this, and uh, maybe check on your clothes a bit, and jump up and down a little bit more, persuade you. That usually works, doesn't it? I find that if you don't put him no. on, down hard the first time, he just sticks around forever. Um, I point my finger to Zaxio. <laughs> if you don't walk away the other way, I think you're gonna have a lot of... What, many fully colors around your face. Ooh! I love colors. <laughs> yeah, I love colors. colors. <laughs> and, and I look at Vickis and he probably knows what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, Vickis, he's, he's grinning. <laughs> and another look to Ayla as well. I'm in. Oh. He did ask for it. And well, then... here's to meeting new friends. And I pull out my keg and four tankards. Where did you get those tankards? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, yeah. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, not long after that, well, you arrive. 
And, um... And, uh... Um, give me a second. And, uh, I'm here, uh, sure. Just check it out, it's not a team sure. Um, the boat docks in the middle of, um, well, quite a cramped quarter. It's like, um, all of these, uh, little islands with, uh, with boardwalks in between them. The, looks, well, really not organized at all, actually. But, sure enough. As uh, this is ex this is the exact point where the boat docks, and um, as you step off the boat, you see two things. The first thing you see is a gigantic wall in the distance, and the ball seems to mm. go on in what you presume is a circle. And um, second thing you see is a. Uh, is a small sign, you know, the, the typical arrow sign with uh, in Osiriani registrations and then the, the symbol of Farazma next to it. Huh. I go. guess we should go sign in. Mm -hmm. Make our presence known. I'm just gonna run ahead because I'm so slow. And as you oh, follow the. Bad policy. And as you and follow so the, no. the, 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 the arrows, you make your way to, well, actually a quite a busy market. It's like, it's, it has all these, uh, these pillars uh, around which you can find um, all the several market, uh, market stands. Uh, one pil pillar in, in particular does immediately stand out to you as it is a pillar on which hang several dozens of uh, rotting hands. And? Yes, hands. I guess that's one way to cut down on crime. Did it? But, oh, yeah, mind. you actually made the correct <laughs> assumption about the hands. That's exactly what they are. You see, well, that one is the... Expect. The, that one is called um, the Pillar of Second Thoughts. I'm having second thoughts about this. <laughs> but you are not yet where the arrows point. You see, you end up at a... Yeah, well... It has quite... Uh, there's this cathedral here with quite a gothic style to it. Mm. Oh shit, I'm moving the map around ex accidentally. Give me a second. I was on the wrong layer. Uh, you. That's. Uh, Ally, you are of the Church of Pharasma. That is very, very obviously a Church of Pharasma. <laughs> It has the, um, the the typical gothic look. It's a, it's a black building, like the, the the it has the classical spiral on front, and there is quite a long line of adventurers queuing up. Hmm. Oh, looks like we're here, guys. All right, let's do it. Uh, you know what? We'll get in line. You can head on in and talk to the priests and. We'll sign in for you. Huh? For my question about the church. They want me to go ahead so, and so I can do my research in the church while they uh, register me. Us. Yeah. Okay. Or do we all have to be present for the uh, signing? Uh, no, not really. You just... Okay. Cool. You register... A, um, well, you are quick. I'll explain later. <laughs> and, um... You, well, you actually, already, there's a there's a lot of people in this line, and um, I, I, you'll have to sign up as uh, as a group, so <laughs> you'll have to be at the same point in line anyway. And I'm assuming that they they, 
uh, they eventually got up to you, Sekramil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're at the same point in line. Um, and um, even as you look at uh, the um, the proceedings, you, you see that they're going quite swiftly. But even then, you spend several hours waiting. There are many, oh. many people interested. But eventually, in the, the late afternoon, you get to the front. And um, a priest welcomes you and um, asks for um, someone to, to sign the name of the adventurer's group, please. Oh lord. <laughs> That's one thing we forgot. Go ahead, decide. Um, and, and at this moment we start arguing over the name. Like, what do you think about the, the dangerous Delvers? The Tattooed Taoists. Sparkling Tomb Explorers. Hmm. <laughs> also marks on fire. Maybe the Tomb Raiders. <laughs> she, uh, the, the the priest visibly frowns at you as you as you utter that name. Um, I mean, you see the... me, you see me, slurs, um, touch my forehead. I was like, no, 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 no. The tomb visitors. Be respectful. Tomb tourists. <laughs> tomb tourists. <laughs> uh, like, how about we go away from the tomb something line? I like the respectful caretakers of ancient lore. That is our group name. Too long. God <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Midas Dutch. I still like the gardeners. The gardeners. Do I look oh. like a gardener, son? <laughs> I think this first uh, suggestion was actually pretty nice. The tomb? What was it? No, no, Dungeon no, no, Divers? No. Dangerous like Delvers. Like dangerous. A dungeon Delvers. Or the Danger Delvers. Delvers. I was thinking about the Danger Delvers, but okay. I don't like I Danger. Looks. So, well, it will make us seem more competent, son. For, of course, because That's a fair point. delving dangerous is really dangerous. Well, yes. at this point, I think we should just pick any name because my character would love to go to the Necropolis. And the queue is piling up behind us. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the, the, the people, behind you are, people behind you are looking quite disapprovingly. Oh no, whatever. And they're starting to mutter. So, what did we take? Dangerous Delvers? Um, okay, Dangerous Delvers. Um, we are dangerous, yes. Okay, thank you. Well, here is your token. And uh, she hands one of you, whichever is at the... Me, 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 me. I'll take it. I don't really trust the <laughs> no money. Jump up and down and reach um, <laughs> it's, a, it's like a small rune stone. Like a, like a small stone with a, with a hieroglyph on it. No particular That's meaning, magic. it's like everyone has one of those. Just bring it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we will do the... Um, um, the lottery uh, at uh, give me a second. I need the name for something. At the Sunburst Market, and uh, we will call every group forward one by one. We will hold up a token, and then you come forward. We will take your token. Well, no, you get to keep your token, and we will give you your first assigned tomb. Um, how this works is you will get three assigned tombs. You will get the second after you finish the first. You will get the third after you finish the, th the second. And um, we will of course not give any person requested tombs. We will leave it to the Lady of Grapes. Graves, not Grapes. <laughs> we will leave it to the Lady of Grapes to... Um, I make mistake all the time too, it's fine. <laughs> to, to divide... Uh, who gets what tomb? I know many people want a particular tomb, but we cannot intervene in, in fate. Um, Certainly not. 
are a few rules. Number one, um, second. Number one, you need to remember how all this came to pass. Tomorrow, our high priestess will give a will give a, will give a speech that explains the history of Wati, <laughs> and uh, we expect no inter-party or intra-party conflict to happen in the Necropolis. We want this to all be nice, fair, and clean. Secondly, every slave's hut is a memorial. Don't go summarily dumping things on the ground. You will be judged for it harshly. And perhaps be thrown out. Just, you can take valuables, but don't desecrate graves, okay? And lastly... Oh, sorry, that last one is actually don't destroy structures. Sorry. And the last one is honor the, honor the departed, which is what the second one is, as I um, explained. We will be careful and respectful as we pillage your homeland. Um, Alai, are you yeah. wearing some kind of outward sign that you are a Farazman? Uh, a necklace with a symbol. And, um... Uh, she, she takes a closer look at you and she says, Well, we're not going to, uh, to ask Farazmans to not enter, but... Just make sure that you keep that you will be kept to a slightly higher standard. What these rules, uh, on God what these rules standard. mean. But well, enjoy the day. We will see you all tomorrow, and uh, the lottery will take place then. I'll drink to that. Not here. <laughs> Yes, I have the keg here. with me. I can drink wherever I want. I'm a big boy. Don't on your feet again, Vickers. What? <laughs> Am I dropping the keg? Your feet again? Be careful. Well, you can try, lass. You can try. <laughs> if it stops you from drinking, I will. Hey, let the man drink, will you? Yeah, well, not if I'm already have debt anyway. We're like an old married couple. <laughs> They've known each other for two days. It's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? If you two can get along, I will buy us all a nice meal and we can celebrate the start of a new and beautiful partnership. How's that? That sounds like a feast. Cool. Yeah. Very well, let's go. I'm yeah. thinking traditional Assyriani cuisine. Okay, while we are having this this meal, let's discuss practicals. Wait, wait, wait. I assume that we might uh, by the, wait, encounter wait, wait. By some the time you By the time you, you finish all of the, the business, evening has already fallen. And, uh, well, you are recommended a local inn and watering hole by, well, several people. <laughs> Excellent. You notice two things as you enter. Uh, first thing that you notice is that my API is down again. <laughs> uh, second thing that you notice is that... Um, there's a well in the um, in the end, which, by the way, I forgot to mention this. That's the sign that's hanging outside the end. Well, if that's not a sign of a quality venue, then I don't know what is. Ooh. You don't suppose I could try one of those here? You could. In fact, way. every table has one of those. You you smell the 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 very characteristic uh, smell of yes. that kind of tobacco. They mix in fruits of all flavors. It's very sweet. 
But as I was saying, in that in that well, mm. the thing that's so special about it is that there's a small crocodile in it. Like a pet crocodile? Let me see. Here, little whippersnapper. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, hey, sir. No, no, is he tame? No. Yes, but watch out what you feed him. A tooth doesn't All like right. alcohol. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Does he like some beef jerky? Ah, he has a taste for that. Well, let me see if I still have some leftovers. Ah, here. There you go, little fella. And I... He snaps it up him. without actually biting you. Seems quite tame. Yeah. He's a cutie. He looks quite content. I don't know how you would judge contentness when it comes to a crocodile. A <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna stand over here and explore all the iconic weapons here. I'm gonna make sure that they serve coffee. Or cough, I guess it's called. Mm -hmm. They don't, I might have a problem. Ah, oh, there. Off. Oh, Off oh, Give me one quick second. I completely broke something, I think. Uh -oh. Are you still doing the color changing thing? Wow! <laughs> if type of object is not equal to undefined return. Ah, uh, that was exactly the opposite of what it should have been. There you go. <clears throat> but of course. You are not the only ones here. In fact... The inn is, the inn is quite full. Of all kinds of perspective. I call um, Shut up. <laughs> oh, cool. And um... Th there's the actually... There? Like I said, I call dibs. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, boys. Uh, have you met Alice? I don't think so. But it is t tonight is on the the night before the the actual um, lottery is going to happen. And that is actually where the pre-session stops, because you will soon go and rest, and then it is time to start with the lottery. Alrighty. Yep. I'm going to spend the meal sizing up our opponents, or their competition, I should say. Well, I'm not going to spoil names and such here, because these are actual tokens that are actually going to be used. They're, they're all keeping kind of to themselves right now. They they, re I am. they have uh, they have all learned of how the the rules will work, and that includes uh, that that the 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 distribution of the um, uh, of the tombs is completely random. So you don't want to leak where you're going to be sent to anyone else. Not that you know yet, but. People are kind of keeping to themselves still. They're stealing themselves for the for the exploration to come. Hmm. Oh. So rooms are obviously available. Uh I need to I completely forgot something. What? 
That's amazing. <coughs> I, I, I prepared 120 pages of campaign journal, and then I forget a sketch of the second floor of this place. Well, does it matter? Yeah, because I want to let you know that the, the rooms where you will be staying are actually quite nice. No, we Excellent. Do. That's how I like them. Yeah. They're actually not that uh, expensive as well. They're uh, two gold per night for the entire troop together. Awesome. Yeah. <coughs> Are the cheapest we can find? Best? Well, it's kind of like uh, a, a, yeah, the the <laughs> it's a uh, the price slash quality ratio. This one is yeah. the best. Okay, let me. I'll pay for rooms. One generous. more thing about my character is I have been pretty, you know, friendly, but in general I often rub people the wrong way because of my physical appearance with all the tattoos and because I, I only have a 7 charisma, really. I don't really want to appear like a, a socialite in that sense. So I'm um, true to my stats. Yeah. <clears throat> The rooms that you will be able to hire are to the right of the picture that I just displayed to you. The suites. So, yeah, you have a, an inner courtyard, which is open air. Uh, I didn't want to bother Andreas to, uh, with a map for that because... Um, oh, it's taking a bit of time, yeah. Yep. Because it's you like, this. you never need to see the map. You, you, there's no reason for there to be a map of that. This is uh, going to be kind of like the uh, the Rusty Dragon in that uh, you will see the map a lot. So, this one was justifiable. Well, I assume we only need three rooms, because I've only already made a bed in one of Ivan's chests. Really? <laughs> what happened to my gear? This in there, under my bed. It's, built, it's probably thrown out of the ship while you weren't looking. <laughs> and on that bombshell... Let's continue this on la next Saturday as the campaign proper starts. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stop the recording now. <laughs>